no so do you have a wordpress woocommerce website a shop where you sell online are you trying to make sure that you're compliant with gpsr and it's not worth you sorting out financially it's just not viable to have an eu representative if so you're in the right place just a few bits of criteria there so what i was trying to do is i wanted to create a video where i'm showing you how to set up a plugin to make sure that you are not selling to europe and how you're you've also eliminated northern ireland that's a horrible way of saying that but you don't want to be selling to northern ireland either the issue is woocommerce along with many many other platforms include the shipping as united kingdom which includes northern ireland correctly that's factually correct northern ireland is part of the united kingdom and it's also but also the problem is it's also an eu member state so we need them separated from a shipping e-commerce point of view we need them to be treated as two separate entities we can't do that there is no free plugin that's going to allow us to do this there are paid plugins that will allow you to do it the cheapest one I found is from $49 a year, which isn't bad if you've got a busy shop and it, and it becomes worth your while to do that to make sure that your shop is running properly. Except in my instance, my WooCommerce shop is very, very small. It's very tiny. Really, I have it set up so I can show other people how to set things up and how to make it work it's not really there for me to specifically sell from it's just not what it's there but it is live and i don't want to accidentally breach gpsr so what do i do well i found a free workaround but it's far from ideal this is the it really isn't worth me spending 49 dollars a year on my WordPress site solution. It's also hopefully a temporary solution as WooCommerce realize, hopefully, that this is an issue that they need to sort. Right now, no one is up in arms and singing and dancing about it. I've seen one person comment and I've put a comment underneath, but that's it, that's all I've discovered about it. So for now, until they sort themselves out, let me show you the sticking pasta solution. So let me open up my screen so what we have here is we have the back end of my website we are in the woocommerce settings section i've scrolled down because i just don't want to show you my home address as much as i love you and as much as i want to help you i really don't need you to know my home address so you can see i've scrolled down to the general options section and in here you can see that currently i del deliver only to united kingdom um if you have Europe listed in here and you don't have an EU representative and you're not sorting out all your technical documentation that you need to have, please remove it from here. And that will solve you for the majority of EU. But Northern Ireland is still allowed under this. So we could get into trouble without realising it if you're not careful. So what do we do? Well, the sticking plaster solution is you click along to your shipping tab here and we're going to add a shipping zone. So we're going to add a shipping zone and you're going to call it Northern Ireland shipping unavailable. You know what that means. Everybody else knows what that means. Um, and we're going to in here. Well, first of all, we've got to tick these boxes and we've got to tick United Kingdom, which ironically comes into Europe, but we'll ignore that because it doesn't. As far as complying with the regulations is concerned, and we're going to click limit to specific postcodes. And in here, we're going to click BT and the asterisk. So BT is, in my understanding, all Northern Ireland postcodes. They all start with that because it's linked to Belfast. And the asterisk is the wild card, so it will pick them all up. If you do know of any other postcodes that fall inside Northern Ireland, and maybe I've made a mistake here, they need to be included here. So please let me know in the comments below because I need to add it, and so do you, and you'd add them in. But that is in going to pick them all up. It shouldn't pick up any postcodes for anywhere else. I'm not aware of anywhere else in the United Kingdom that use a BT postcode. So once you've done that, you can click Save Changes. And that's it. You've kind of set it up so it's not going to work. But 
let me show you what happens. So I've put BT33 in, OAB as an example, and that is a place called Newcastle in Northern Ireland. If I click update here as the address in the checkout basket, you can see it's now throwing up an error, an invalid API key. So that's what's going to happen if someone tries to buy as we've set it up from Northern Ireland. Now it works because they cannot continue. There's nothing else they can do here. They need to have the shipping set up. But that's going to frustrate them, isn't it? It's going to drive them a little bit potty. So what if we go to the step further? The trouble with the step further is, well, you'll see for yourself in a second. So we're going to go into add shipping method and we're going to click add flat rate and we're going to click continue. We're going to change the name to shipping unavailable. If I could actually type while I'm on here, we would anyway. Unavailable, I can't see there. Um, and I would put Northern Ireland on there as well, just to qualify it. The trouble is now we've set up a flat rate. So it doesn't matter what the name says, it's going to go through if we don't change the cost. So this is where it gets dodgy. You can start to add in a number that's as big as you want it to be, but something that is really going to put somebody off. You could put a thousand pounds, put a hundred pounds. I'm sticking in whatever number I've created there because no one's going to pay that, are they? So this, you can start to see where we're going. So we've now added this up. So if I come to this basket, if my, there we go, Chrome would work, you can see we've got the error from before. If I click update there, now we the only thing I've changed is adding in that flat rate shipping. You can now say shipping unavailable Northern Ireland, even though it is showing this amount and technically they could carry on. So you can see there's the subtotal of the basket you can see there's the basket above but because it's got a bt33 postcode it's coming up with this so really it doesn't matter whether you, you're happy to have this unfor i say happy unhappily have this but at least it means that you're um compliant which means you don't have the shipping method set up or if you prefer to have the shipping method set up and do this then that's your alternative. Um, I would also suggest that you update your delivery policies, any of your policies that you've got where you talk about shipping, where you are even talking about returns, any of that, make sure they are really clear that say that due to GPSR, you are no longer ever able to ship to Europe, including Northern Ireland. Um, I hope you found that useful. I know it's far from ideal. There are ways where you can add code into the back end, but I don't know about you. I always get worried that if updates and changes, and I'm going to forget that that's what I've gone in and done. So I try my best to avoid it from, from that perspective. I'm hoping that some plugins will appear that are going to help us do this for free. But until then, if you want to make sure that you are covered and you're not going to have any orders that come in from Northern Ireland, well, first of all, you need to make sure Europe isn't there, um, and Northern Ireland as well, that's as good as I can find right now. It's not hard to do. It, it will take you five minutes to do. It's not nice on the back end, but you need to stop your marketing to, to Northern Ireland and Europe as much as you can and make sure that you're legal documents sorry couldn't find policies that's the word i was looking for your policies are all up to date saying that you do not sell to um northern ireland and in well, europe including northern ireland particularly if you're a uk based business i think that helps make it a bit more sense um and hopefully i'll have a far better solution for you at some point soon but right now at least that means you haven't got to worry about cancelling orders and sorting things out because it's going to stop anybody placing that order by accident. But, and this is the big but, the regulations say that by placing something on the market that is accessible by anybody in a member state, that means you need to be compliant, which is why this is just a sticking plaster, because technically someone in Northern Ireland can still find these products online and attempt to order them. I consider that to be called putting it on the market. Um, so we do need to find a better solution, but if nothing else, it means you're not going to get those orders coming in and you can have, have a deep breath until we find something better. So that's WooCommerce. 
to comply with the general product safety regulations. I'm Nicola Smith from A Handcrafted Business. I'm really hoping that all of this information is going to help you have the confidence to get out there and sell more of your products in the countries where you can sell and you can proudly sell and know that your customers are going to love to buy from you and come back to buy more. And hopefully one day we'll find a better solution to make sure it sort of works in a far more professional way. Right, that's it for now. I will speak to you soon.